I taught ChatGPT to be my life coach. Here's how. ChatGPT is an online computer program that allows you to have a conversation. It uses advanced artificial intelligence to understand what you're saying and give you a suitable response. You can ask ChatGPT pretty much anything. You can think of it like an advanced version of Google search, um, but instead of it being a kind of one way thing, you have a conversation with this artificial intelligence computer program. I've used ChatGPT in countless different ways. I've used it to write LinkedIn posts. I've used it to analyze and review some writing that I put together. I've used it to create presentations to give me an outline of the things I might talk about and then give me the content behind it too. And I guess most interestingly, which is the purpose of this video today, is I also taught it to be my life coach. Here's how. So ChatGPT, as I said, is an online program. So you can go to the ChatGPT website. And here you get like a simple chat interface that allows you to interact with the artificial intelligence behind ChatGPT. So I've prepared a little example here where I'm going to start off, um, I guess, teaching ChatGPT to be my life coach. So I want you to act like my life coach. I will give you challenges that I'm facing. I want you to ask questions that help me think through the challenge to find solutions. Most importantly, I guess I want ChatGPT to kind of demonstrate empathy, understanding, and listen like any great life coach. So let's have a look at what it says. Okay, cool. So a bit of a caveat around what it can and can't do around sort of the emotional side of things. Um, yeah, cool. The challenge that I'd like to start working with. So let's pick a common challenge. I'm recording this video at the start of the year, so I think a lot of people are kind of thinking about goals. So um, I'm unclear about my goals for three. Uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm feeling a bit uh, demotivated. My spelling is terrible. Uh, at the moment, um, I'm uncertain where to focus my time and energy. I guess overall, um, I'm feeling a little uh, lost and frustrated. Let's have a look what it says. So that's a good demonstration of some empathy there. It's normal to feel demotivated when you're not sure when to focus on. Thank you very much, ChatGPT. What do you value most in life? So interestingly, you can see that uh, ChatGPT is, um, I guess, playing the role, maybe not so much of a life coach. So it's kind of given me some answers here. And I'm kind of really, to be honest, curious about them asking me some questions. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to teach ChatGPT to really give me questions rather than answers. Thank you. Okay, so here's some questions instead to help me think about my challenge. So the values question again, which it was kind of alluding to earlier. Okay, this is a lot, a lot of questions in one go. Uh, wow, 10 questions. Is it going to stop there? Okay, so this is a lot of questions around accountability, progress, values, beliefs. Okay, so this is going to be a little tricky to answer in one go. So let me teach ChatGPT to kind of, I guess, focus on the one most important question. Thank you, ChatGPT. So you can see here, I've kind of taught it to kind of, instead of just giving me a ton of questions, just to focus on the one question. So, so far I've taught it, instead of giving me answers, give me questions. And now I'm teaching it to really focus on instead of giving me lots of questions at one time, just give me uh, just give me the most thought provoking question to begin with. So now we have a question. 
uh, what are my long-term aspirations and how can I break them down into smaller, more manageable goals? Okay, let's give it let's give it a bit of an answer and see how it responds. I'd say that's a long-term aspiration. It can be very fulfilling and rewarding. Thank you for acknowledging that. So how do you break down this into smaller, more manageable goals? Here are a few follow-up questions. Now, ChatGPT, I did ask you to just ask me one question at a time, and I ask me lots of questions again. Uh, clearly isn't learning as fast as I would like it to. Um, but these are good questions. Who are my ideal client? What's my unique selling point? Um, okay, so these um are quite i guess conventional questions um let's see if it can ask me some more quirky stuff <laughs> okay this is unusual if you could be a fictional character who would you choose to be and why wow this is a good question i like this If you have, okay, so let's think about a fictional character. What comes to mind? Um, let's say, <laughs> no, Mickey Mouse. How Jack GPT finds that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's building upon my response and kind of, I guess, giving me a bit of an encouragement here around how mickey mouse is uh the character that i chose so i'm now starting the mickey mouse coaching uh company probably could have chose a different character actually i'm not sure that demonstrates a great brand but anyway okay so i'm feeling a little bit lost now um I'm gonna let's go let's go let's go back right to the start and just go back to the overall challenge that I was looking at about. Okay, perfect. Thank you for reminding me of the original goal. Something I really appreciate in uh, real coaches is just that kind of summarizing, playing back what I've said. So thank you for that. Okay, so it's kind of reflecting back the things we've talked about around having some specific goals, core values, making a small step. Um, it's a lot of text here, right? So I think that's that's something I'm going to have to tell ChatGPT to just be a little bit more uh, concise. Uh, can you be a little bit more concise? I uh, can you ask me a question? about values it's, uh, come up a number of times so far um, I feel that might be something useful okay so that's good here in the sense that it's not give me a, a bunch of questions here it's just ask me one question what are your top three to five core values and how do they relate now um, I think I have a good hand handle on what my values are um, but imagine I was in a situation where I didn't really know what my values are. So um, how would I even find that out? Okay, so it's giving some suggestions here. Uh, so this is where it's kind of interesting how ChatGPT can kind of play this dual role of asking you questions. And again, using different ways, like asking the non-conventional questions, which I really liked, but also can give you information that might be useful uh, for you to kind of go and explore further. So we've got a couple of ways here that we could uh, identify your values. Again, there's quite a bit of empathy, again, going back to something we talked about earlier and kind of this 
it's important to note that values can change over time. It's okay to revisit them. So there's some empathy there. It's demonstrating of like not putting loads of pressure on me to find them and not putting pressure on me to find like the perfect answer today. So I think that's probably a good example where I've asked it early on in the conversation to kind of be understanding and empathetic. And I think it's, it's providing this here. Um, Uh, so we're running out of time. So let's close with like one question that ChatGPT feels like I can take away that might be most useful in solving my challenge. So ChatGPT is finding this one a little bit more difficult to answer. Okay, so quite conventional question. One small step I can take today. What do you think? That was how I taught ChatGPT to be my life coach. Now let's have a look at what the future holds. So your next question, you're probably thinking, can ChatGPT replace life coaches? Well, let's look at both sides of the debate. So one of the first major positives of a chat tool like ChatGPT is that it's very scalable. You can pretty much access it from anywhere in the world. All you need is an internet uh, connection and a laptop, and you can start to have very detailed conversations with this artificial intelligence. The other kind of benefit to that is it's very low cost. Again, there's no additional costs right now to use ChatGPT other than your own costs around your internet connection and your laptop. So again, it's a very cost effective way where someone might spend many hundreds of dollars, pounds on a life coach. You can get some interactive conversation at very low cost uh, with ChatGPT. And also it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you ever feel like you're in a tricky situation where you just need uh, some kind of someone to talk to, I know it's an artificial in intelligence kind of algorithm, but if you feel like you need to engage with something, Using something like ChatGPT, you can ask it, uh, give it your challenge as you've seen, and then you can kind of get some suggestions, answers uh, through that. So highly scalable, low cost, uh, and available 24-7. Uh, and then probably the final benefit is it kind of does learn as well. So it is flexible to the person that they're working with. You can ask it to do certain things and not do other things. Uh, there's obviously constraints there, but it does give a degree of customization to the person that's being coached as well. So it's not just a stupid machine. It does learn. And um, I think these algorithms are only going to grow over time. And at the end of the video, I'll share a little bit around what the future might hold for things like ChatGPT and other artificial intelligence technologies. So let's look at the other side of the debate. What are some of the limitations with something like ChatGPT? So probably the big obvious one that I'm sure many of you have probably got questions around is more around the sort of human side of things, the empathy, the emotions, and really understanding that as professional coaches, that's obviously a key part of your ability to coach others is your ability to read their emotions and sense what's going on with for that other person, not just in what they're actually saying, but kind of behind those world, words, the feeling and the emotion behind that. And often that's where a lot of breakthroughs can come from is having someone that can truly listen and demonstrate that empathy allows people to really find some comfort with a challenge that they have and find a new way forward. So ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence uh, program. So that does mean it has some intelligence and interestingly, it can, I guess, display some kind of emotion and empathy. As you kind of saw in the example that I gave earlier, uh, when I was training it to be my life coach, you can give it certain instructions to maybe be a bit more challenging, be a bit more empathetic and understanding. And the artificial intelligence algorithm can pick up certain emotions in the words that you're using. So if you use certain words that demonstrate, I guess, anger, frustration, the artificial intelligence uh, algorithm will pick that up. Uh, but clearly it won't be able to, I guess, go into great detail around the sort of emotions and pick up certain things around obviously your body language it's unable to see you um, it can only pick up your emotions from the text that you say 
so it's not going to pick up everything so that's probably one of the biggest limitations that most coaches will see is its uh, lack of being able to tap into the emotions uh, that someone has in a coaching conversation then i think one of the other limitations for me really is that it's uh, again i'm plugged into a, a computer here having to have a coaching conversation with chat gpt um, the kind of mode of communication for me i'm a very vocal thinker um, I like to draw a lot as well, so having to type this stuff out uh, doesn't necessarily unlock my most creative thinking. Uh, as you saw again in the demos, often sometimes it can give you a number of questions at once where you're kind of like feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, but on the flip side, sometimes, sometimes actually taking that time and just typing out the answer has kind of slowed down my thinking and I've actually thought of other things that maybe I wouldn't have had if I was just talking it out loud. Um, so right now, the kind of mode of communication, having to type with the chatbot through your computer, may be a limit, uh, kind of limit to some people or not unlock their best thinking through that channel. However, I'm sure a number of these channels are going to change over time. Um, I'll share a little bit at the end around the future, around how things like the metaverse and virtual reality, there may be a combination of these technologies which might start to unlock very, very creative ways in which artificial intelligence can be used through many channels um, for coaching and other, other ways. And the final thing I'd say about its limitations is just, I think often we talk about in coaching about this idea of limiting beliefs, these kind of beliefs that we hold about ourselves that um, limit our ability to find that breakthrough. So for example, I might have a limiting belief that I am not a sporty person. And that prevents my ability to really embrace the kind of exercise, fitness and sports that I do. Uh, it may prevent me from putting myself into uncomfortable situations to go and play a certain sport that maybe I've not done before because I believe I'm not a sporty person. So other people are going to find that out and I'm going to feel like a fraud. Um, I think it's the same with this kind of technology. I think it's very easy to have a certain belief of coaching has to be done with a person in the room to tap into all those emotions, to unlock their creative thinking. Uh, whereas for me, I'm kind of suspending some of those beliefs and I'm just curious about what this future might hold in that um, it might not answer all of the problems. And no doubt there's gonna be a lot of challenges that come with this, a lot of downsides as we've seen with a lot of technology around social media and the effect that that's had on mental health. It might be the same with this kind of technology, but for me, I'm suspending that belief and uh, really just staying curious and trying to learn, immerse myself into a number of these different technologies to really understand how I might use it to supplement the coaching that I do. Uh, and you really use it as a tool to help people really unlock their potential and find new ways of thinking about problems and really, again, I guess the real benefit of, of this kind of technology is just that scale and accessibility where coaching is often uh, reserved for an exclusive set of your organization or for people that can afford it or have access to, access to coaching. This really opens up a huge potential for people getting access to the help that they need just, just to find simple questions that can really help unlock their thinking and, and find the next breakthrough. What does the future hold for this technology? Um, Chat GPT is continuing to evolve. Um, there's a whole, obviously, development team behind it that are continuing to build out. The current version is actually a kind of experimental version where they're looking for some kind of feedback. So this technology is only yet going to kind of grow exponentially, I think. Uh, Chat GPT, again, is just one example of an artificial intelligence chatbot. There's many other versions. Uh, of these kind of things that implement the same kind of similar technology that enables you to get uh, intelligent responses from a machine. I think the other really exciting thing is the combination of these technologies. So over the last couple of years, I've been doing a number of uh, coaching exercises within virtual reality uh, using an Oculus headset that allows you to immerse yourself fully into a virtual world that again just unlocks a different way of looking at problems, a new way of thinking um, and again will there be a future where you're in a virtual reality world talking to an avatar there's actually a artificial intelligence avatar that's you talking to you so that's going to take you as away from that limitation I described around today. You're having to type into a computer to talk to chat GPT. Is there a future where you're actually talking to an avatar that feels like a real person and getting that real response? Um, so yeah, 
loads of potential opportunities for the future and for me i'm just really as i said staying curious and open to the possibilities around how this might help people unlock their potential and find their next breakthrough now just to finish the this is probably the craziest thing of this whole video is actually to create the script for this short video i actually used chat gpt to give me some inspiration so i asked it to give me a script outline of uh, a YouTube video around how I taught ChatGPT to be my life coach. And as you can see here, this is like an example of what it gave me. So I used that as a kind of springboard really to think about the content that I might cover in this talk. Um, and yeah, just give me some additional ideas. So it didn't give me word for word that what I shared with you today, but it gave me some inspiration really. And as I said, a springboard to think about what I might cover and talk about today.